Receipt of F-16 will be the beginning of a new phase of war in Ukraine. Expert. The use of the F-16 aircraft provided to Ukraine will depend on what radars they will have and what missiles they will be equipped with. With their receipt, another difficult phase of the war will begin, believes Ukrainian aviation expert Konstantin Krivolap. The range of tasks that a fighter jet can perform is wide, from hunting cruise missiles and Shahed missiles to long-range strikes on Russian territory. Some missiles that can be equipped on the F-16 can strike at a distance of up to 900 kilometers, but I don't think that will happen yet. I think there will be a gradual increase in power and an increase in the range at which we will be allowed to strike on Russian territory. Freedom Media Outlet quotes him as saying, at the same time he warned against the idea that if F-16s appear tomorrow, the war will end. According to him, this is only the beginning of another difficult phase of the war. It is not a problem for the F-16 to shoot down cruise missiles, but I believe that our most acute problem is the super-heavy guided aerial bombs. If we had the F-16s last year, our population would not know what cabs were. It would be best if the cab problem were solved jointly, the American Patriot Air Defense System plus the F-16. The fighter's range for such targets is up to 550 kilometers, he explained. At the same time, Krivolap believes that F-16s will take off from Ukrainian territory. And there is a good reason for this. As soon as even one aircraft flies from Romania or Poland and carries out any military actions against Russia, this country will immediately be recognized as a party to the conflict. Therefore, F-16s will take off from the territory of Ukraine. Ukraine is not such a big country for fighters. The existing range is quite sufficient. I do not think that fighters will be close to the border with the Russian Federation or the line of combat contact, he stated. In the summer of 2024, F-16 fighters will fight in the Ukrainian sky. This statement was made by the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba. He also noted that all Patriot systems that can be found in the world and brought to Ukraine will be brought. Earlier, the White House announced that Ukraine would receive squadrons of modern multi-role American F-16 fighters. The governments of Denmark and the Netherlands are currently in the process of transferring the F-16s to our country. Norway will allocate an additional 1 billion Norwegian krone or about $94 million to boost Ukraine's defense systems amid Russia, war of invasion. The brutal attacks we have seen over the past week show why it is so important for Ukrainians to have stronger protection against Russian air attacks. In cooperation with Germany, Norway will transfer a modern Iris-T air defense battery to Ukraine this fall, Prime Minister Steer said. Iris-T is a short-range air defense missile system that includes three truck-mounted launcher trucks, a multifunctional radar for target detection and tracking, and a command post truck. It should be noted that in May, Oslo pledged to increase aid to Ukraine by about $630 million. Norway partners with Germany, the United States, and other allies to find anti-aircraft ammunition to better protect Ukraine's skies. NATO allies have been stepping up efforts to strengthen Ukrainian army amid intensified Russian attacks. U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken announced on Wednesday that the transfer of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets was underway from NATO countries of Denmark and Netherlands. In a joint statement, the leaders of the U.S., the Netherlands and Denmark reiterated commitment to further enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities.